very good morning children how are you all welcome back to the class and children can you see the board and what is this which animal is this is this land animal or sea animal can you name this animal okay this animal is octopus this is a sea creature this animal lives in sea okay in salt water and what is its name octopus how does this name come so this name the octopus name is taken from the greek word octo okay children what do you mean by octo octo means eight why eight why they kept for this animal as octopus because it has eight arm correct 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 eight arms are there so they named this animal as octopus from which uh, uh, language we have taken the name we have taken from the greek word greek language octo which means eight right because it has eight arms and these eight arms are known as tentacles what does these arms known as these arms are known as tentacles okay children so our lesson today's lesson is about the clever octopus how intelligent the octopus are we will study in this lesson okay children okay now open page number 35 what has three hearts eight arms and one huge brain what the, what has three hearts and huge brain and eight arms just now i said which animal has eight arms yes octopus so octopus has eight arms and one huge brain and three hearts okay it is a creature that can do wonderful things it is a creature creature means animal okay so it is an animal which can do wonderful things the name octopus comes from the greek word octo which means eight from where does the name come the name comes from the greek word octo what do you mean by octo octo means eight eight arms so they named it as octopus now octopuses are so named because they have eight arms which are called tentacles the arms of the octopus are known as tentacles understood children okay now next page octopus have eyes on either side of their head but they are completely deaf octopuses are extremely intelligent they can learn new things just like human beings they have even learned a few tricks to get out of troublesome situation if an octopus is chased by a predator such as shark or a bird it can use its incredible skills to get away now octopuses do not have teeth or sharp claws to defend themselves instead they use clever ways to fool their attackers octopuses hide themselves in the sand at the bottom of the ocean floor how do they do that well an octopus is like a chameleon because it can change the color of its skin to match the color of the sand children have you seen chameleon or have you heard about chameleon chameleon is an animal is a creature which changes its color of the body okay if for example if it sits on the green color then the entire body of the chameleon will become green color if it sits on blue color then the entire body of the chameleon will become blue so chameleon has the ability to change its color so same way octopus also when it finds that it is in danger so it will start to change the color of its body okay now and this camouflage help uh, sorry and this camouflage happens in less than a minute some octopuses like to stay in more shallow water where there are rocks and coral between which they can easily hide octopuses are invertebrates which means they do not have to have backbone so they can squeeze themselves into a small spaces between rocks to get out of reach of their attackers now 
Another way in which an octopus can hide is by shooting ink. An octopus uses a part of its body called a siphon to shoot ink into the water. The ink forms a cloud that hides the octopus. By the time the ink clears and the predator can see again, the octopus swims away or hides. It is very much like a magician doing a vanishing act. If you think that the is a clever trick, then you will love what else these creatures have up their sleeves. If an octopus is being attacked, it, it can actually make itself look like a poisonous sea, uh, sea snake. It will bury itself in the sand, keeping two arms visible. It will change the color of those arms to match a sea snake. If an octopus finds that it has no time to hide and it is in trouble, it can break one of its arms. The arms can change colors and scream around in the water to distract the predator. While the octopus swims away to safety. Don't worry, through though the octopus arms grows back. There is one kind of octopus that has poison which it uses to defend itself. The blue ringed octopus is so tiny that it could fit in the palm of your hand. Predators might think this size makes the octopus a great snack, but they know it is dangerous. The blue ringed octopus is very poisonous and can kill predators much larger than itself, including human beings. The largest oct octopus is the giant Pacific octopus which can grow up to 30 feet. The smallest octopus is less than an inch in size. So the next time you see an octopus in the aquarium or while you are snorkeling, remember that an octopus is, ju is just is not just an animal with eight arms but a very large brain too. Children, did you understand? Yes, I hope you have understood and we'll, I'll explain it in a deep way, okay? Now, our lesson is about octopus, okay? Now, why we, will, we have named this animal as octopus? Because it has eight arms, okay? So, this name is taken from the Greek word octo, which means eight, okay? So, octopus has eight arms, so it is, uh, it is named as octopus. And now these arms are known as tentacles. He doesn't call it as arms. So we have we call it as tentacles. The octopus has eight tentacles. Okay. Now what are the other features? Now octopus has huge brain, big brain, and it has three hearts. And how many are hearts we have? Only one heart. But octopus has three hearts. Okay. Now Octopus have eyes on either side of their head. It has eyes on either side to the end of the head. Now octopus are completely deaf and they don't have ears. They are deaf. They can't listen. Octopus are extremely intelligent because they have a huge brain and so they are extremely intelligent. They can learn new things just like human beings. According to the environment, Okay, according to the environment where they are living, they will learn new, new things. How even we will learn now? So you, you were in second standard last year. Now you have come to third standard. So here, this year you will learn all new things better than last year. So like that same way, octopus also in which environment it will be. So it will learn all the new things from that environment. They have even learned a few tricks to get out of troublesome situations. What the octopus will do when they find it, they are in trouble. Okay. So they will use for new, new tricks, new, new ideas, new ideas to get out of that problem. Okay. Now if an octopus is chased by a predator. Now if an octopus is chased by a predator. Now what do you mean by predator? Predator means an animal that kills and eats other animal. Predetermines an animal that kills and eats other animal. 
Okay, it is an animal which kills and eat other animal like example lion. Lion kills deer and it will eat. So lion is called a predator. Okay, same way. So if an other animal comes and tries to attack octopus, so it will escape. How it will escape? escape? So if an octopus is chased by a predator such as shark or bird. So the predator are shark. Okay, shark a kind of fish you know that. So when it attacks octopus or a bird attacks octopus, it will use incredible skills. Incredible skills means very difficult and very surprising skills. That predator or the enemy animal will not be knowing. So like that the ideas uh, octopus will use and it will get away in that from that situation. Now understood children? Okay now. Octopus do not have teeth or sharp claws to defend themselves. What does octopus, uh, what octopus doesn't have? They doesn't have teeth like other animals and they doesn't have claws also. So like nails also. So to defend themselves, to protect themselves. Now how they will protect? So instead they use clever ways. So it is very intelligent creature. So it uses its intelligence and it will Fool its attackers, fool its enemies, and it will get out. It will go away from that situation. Octopuses hide themselves in the sand at the bottom of the ocean floor. What does octopus do? Octopus will hide under the sand. Okay. How do they do that? Well, an octopus is like a chameleon. So here, how do they hide in the sand? So octopus are like Chameleons, okay. Chameleon is the animal which changes its color of the body. Same way, octopus also, when it feels that it is in trouble or when an enemy is attacking it, so it will go into the stand, it will hide. How it will hide? It will change the color of its body, okay. And this camouflage happens in less than a minute. Within a minute, the uh, octopus will change its color. Some octopuses like to stay in more shallow water where there are rocks and coral between which they can easily hide. And some octopuses they like to live in shallow water and where there are rocks. Okay, rocks and coral reefs. So that when the enemies attack, they will go inside the rock and they will hide themselves. Octopuses are invertebrates. Octopuses are invertebrates which means they do not have backbone. So they can squeeze themselves into small space. Now, octopus, these uh, octopus animal or creature, it doesn't have backbone. So what it will do? It can squeeze itself. It can make it small, and in a small hole also, it can hide. So it can squeeze its body, and it can hide in the small place also, and it will get away from the enemies. Another way in which an octopus can hide is by shooting ink. Now ink means like it has chemical in its body. So when he finds, when he thinks that he can't escape from the enemy at all, then it will shoot an ink, a chemical. So what that ink makes? So an octopus uses a part of its body called siphon. Now this ink is called siphon. It is a chemical in the octopus body. So when it shoots that uh, siphon or the ink from its body, it makes the water clouds, okay? It makes the water uh, color. So with that uh, color, so the octopus will run away from that or swims away from that area and it will hide in the safe place, okay? By the time the ink clears, the, clears and the predator can see again, the octopus swims away or, or hides. By that time, the ink, all the clouds will be washed away or vanishes. By the time, the octopus will swim away and it will hide in the safest place. It is very much like a magician doing a vanishing act. So, here the author is comparing uh, the shooting of the ink to a mag magic. Okay. So, in magic also, the magician will vanish. Okay. Uh, the magician will make the things disappear. Correct. So here is the same way. By spitting or by shooting an ink from its body, octopus makes a cloud 
okay by the other color and it escapes from the enemy so here it makes a magical act by vanishing itself if you think that it is a clever trick then you will love what else this creature have up their sleeve now if you like that now if you think that it is so clever that it can shoot it in shoots in and it can escape then it can do many more things right so when it is in trouble it will go and hide under the rocks small rocks also it can go and it can shoot in also and it can make a magic okay so if if it can make magic it can do other things wonderful things also and what are that wonderful things now if an octopus is being attacked it can actually make itself look like a poisonous sea snake and what uh, we can see if an octopus is being attacked so if an octopus is uh, attacked by the enemy it can make itself look like poisonous snake so it makes its body squeeze it makes its body small and it makes the other animal to look like a poisonous snake so the enemy attackers will go away because it can't eat a poisonous snake the other animal will die so by looking at the octopus they think that it is a poisonous snake and they will go away from the octopus it will bury itself in the sand and what the other thing it will do it will go inside into the sand keeping two arms visible it will change the color of those arms to match the sea snake now what it will do the whole body will not be covered in the sand so only two arms it will keep outside and the rest of the body will be inside the sand and what it makes it makes the two arms to look like poisonous sea snake so that the enemies will not attack the octopus or sea snake if an octopus find that it has no time to hide when it is in trouble it can break one of its arm um, here what it does the another way the another trick what it uses when he finds it and the octopus finds it it can't hide anywhere so what it will do it will break one of its arms one of its arms it will cut okay now what happens now the arms then changes color and screams here the uh, bro broken arm it will changes its color and it will screams what do you mean by screams screams means make small the cut part will become so small and with it will change color so that it will distract the enemies right so the enemies what happened to the octopus what well, the other part is broken the enemies will think and the uh, uh, enemies concentration will be distracted and this side the octopus will run or swim away and it will hide okay now predator will, while the octopus swims away to the safety place now when it concentration distracts okay the octopus will swim to the safest place do not worry though the octopus arms grow back what happens the arms one of the arms will be cut okay now what happens to that arm will it grow or the octopus will lose one of its arm yes the other arm which has been cut also it will grow back okay now there is one kind of octopus that has poison which it uses to defend itself now here there is another kind of octopus that has poison in its body so it uses that poison to protect itself from the enemies now the blue ringed octopus which is that poisonous octopus the blue ring blue colored octopus is so tiny that it can fit in the palm if the blue colored octopus is very poisonous it is so tiny that we can keep inside in our palm also okay the predators might think this size makes the octopus a great snack but they know it is dangerous the predators may think so by looking at the size of the octopus because it is very small no so the attacker the predator will think that hey, it can make my snack it can make my food for today so but it is very dangerous the blue ringed octopus is very dangerous okay the blue ringed octopus is very poisonous and can kill predators much larger than itself including 
human beings. Here what we learned that blue ringed octopus is very small and it has poison in its body. So when predators think that it, it can become my food for today, so it is very wrong. The blue ringed small octopus can kill a big animal, even human beings also. So if you try to catch, it will uh, give away the poison and it can kill us. So the blue ringed octopus is very poisonous and dangerous. Now the largest octopus is the giant pacific octopus. Now, which is the largest octopus? The giant pacific octopus which can grow up to 30 feet. The smallest octopus is less than an inch in size. The smallest octopus is less than an inch. It is very small. So the next time you see an octopus in the aquarium or while you are snorkeling, remember that an octopus is not just an animal with eight arms but a very large brain too. Here what the author is telling? The giant specific octopus is very large octopus and the blue ringed octopus is very small octopus okay and this giant octopus can grow up to 30 feet and small octopus will be smaller than an inch also so when we see an octopus we see, see an octopus in the aquarium we can recall this lesson right what all we learn so we can recall so by seeing the octopus, it comes in our mind that it has three hearts, it has a huge brain and it has eight arms and it is very intelligent animal. And snorkeling, what do you mean by snorkeling? Snorkeling means swimming just below the surface of water. It will be under the water itself, just below the surface. It will not come on the top of the surface, okay? So snorkeling means swimming just below the surface of water. Now understood children? I hope you have understood. So let's recall the lesson again. Before that I have written meanings. Okay. Word and its meaning. So we will learn. The first word is predator. What do you mean by predator? An animal that kills and eats other animal. One animal eating the other animal is known as predator. Okay now incredible. Incredible means very difficult. Incredible, very difficult and very uh, good doing the job, very difficult to job in a good manner. Now camouflage means to hide by looking like background. Camouflage means to hide by looking like background. Now screams, screams means make small. Scream makes small. Now snorkeling, snorkeling means Swimming just below the surface of the water. Snorkeling means swimming just below the surface, under the water. Invertebrates. Invertebrates means animal that doesn't have backbone. So we have backbone, we have vertebrates. But octopus, it doesn't have backbone, so it is known as invertebrates. The animals which doesn't have backbone are called invertebrates. Like example, snake also. Okay. Animals that doesn't have backbone are known as invertebrates. Right? So children, we have learned about an octopus. How clever it is. How clever it is? It can uh, escape from the enemy by using its parts of the body. Okay? How it escapes? It escapes uh, when it feels that it is in trouble. It go inside the sun and it will hide. And it can change the color of its body. Okay? Like chameleon. Okay, now that uh, changing the color, it will do in a fraction of minute. So by this, it will distract the enemy. Okay, and how it, uh, the, so these, these are the things which if you want to eat, it will not eat because it doesn't have teeth, right? So it, it will catch an animal through these uh, things, so through these uh, parts of the body, it will squeeze the blood of the animal and it will have its dinner. Now what the other things it will do? So when it finds it more difficult, more in trouble, so it will hide because it doesn't have backbone. So it will squeeze itself. So it will squeeze its body into a very small animal and it will go inside the rock. Small rock also it will go and it will hide itself. 
and when he finds that it is in a very much danger so it doesn't have any time to uh, hide so what does it do it will cut one of its arm and it will distract the animal how it distract the cut part of the arm will spring it becomes small and it will change the color so this act will distract the concentration of the enemies so and uh, the uh, other enemies will go in back of that broken part and this side the octopus will swim to the surface face okay the other thing what it will do it will shoot the ink from its body and what the ink does it creates a cloud thing in the water so by that uh, by the time the clouds clear so the octopus will be swimmed to the safest place understood children so when you look for when you go for an uh, exhibition or when you go for a aquarium to visit uh, if you see an octopus you see, you can understand that it has three hearts and it has huge brain and it has eight arms and it is also a very intelligent animal okay and there is a largest octopus which is the largest octopus the giant and there is a big octopus the giant octopus which is the giant octopus the giant pacific octopus the name is giant pacific octopus is the largest octopus okay and it can grow up to 30 feet and now which is the smallest and dangerous octopus a blue ring octopus is very small which grows uh, less than an inch and it is very poisonous so it will shoot poison to the enemy okay when it attacks when it is been attacked by the enemy it will shoot a poisoner poison okay and it will kill so how it is danger means how much it is dangerous means it can kill the human it's a human also okay so children the octopus is clever animal it uses different different tricks and it is also an invertebrate animal i hope you have all understood children and we will meet in the next class thank you children